Everywhere we look within the diversity of nature, we see the beauty of fractional self-similarities at every degree and angle of creation. There has to be an underlying symmetry and a continuous process of symmetry breaking for such beauty to exist. It cannot be just because mathematics works that way that we have the beauty of such symmetry. There has to be a physical reason. In a new theory called quantum atom theory, this underlying symmetry is a symmetry of light forming the curvature and geometry of space-time. In quantum atom theory, it is the emission and absorption of light or electromagnetic radiation from one atom to another that forms the arrow of time, continuously creating the broken symmetry of space-time. Light has momentum and moves in straight lines, always taking the simplest and most efficient path. But in three-dimensional space, it will expand out in all directions, forming light spheres. The polarization of the light will be the same for the entire surface of the light sphere, creating quantum entanglement and the symmetry and geometry of space-time. It is because each part of our universe is forming its own space-time geometry that we have fractals. Fractals always follow the simplest and the most efficient path, forming degrees of regularity and repetition, not just in space, but also in time. Fractals break the perfect symmetry of light, leading to the broken symmetry and geometry of space-time. Therefore the laws of physics can be the same at all places and at all times, but we have total diversity. Because of this, each part of our universe is made up of natural occurring fractional self-similarities of the whole, creating their own individual beauty. This will be based on the universal geometry of space-time and the electromagnetic properties of light. The frequency and wavelength will form spherical waves of periodic motion. Because of the wave nature of electromagnetic radiation, it is impossible to achieve absolute zero. Therefore, all systems will oscillate in periodic or harmonic motion. It is this harmonic oscillation that is at the heart of all fractional self-similarities. The symmetry and geometry of space-time will automatically lead to fractional self-similarities. This can be seen because the curvature of space-time has left something behind in the curvature of solid objects. There are no straight lines in nature, from the curvature of the moon to the bow of a tree to the growth rings of the tree itself. Everywhere we look, we can see within the diversity of nature the same common symmetry, the same guiding force. This can only be because of an underlying symmetry and a continuous process of symmetry breaking.